first backpack and get away. We are here at Adams Gap Trailhead in Talladega. Ooh, ooh. We just got here a little bit later than we wanted. Uh, traffic was terrible going around Atlanta. But we're here. We had a pee, so I actually just ran off. Oh, I spotted her there. Did she already pee, or is she still looking for a spot? <laughs> is it went on her? If she's still looking. You ready? Ready. All right. So the loop that we're doing is 31 miles, right? Uh, not quite, I don't think. There's a lot of mixed reviews on how long it is. Okay. And tonight our camp, since we're getting kind of a late start. Oh, I should turn on my watch. Yeah, I figured we'll just, let's just see how we feel once we get a few miles in. Okay. If we want to do the steep part or not. Yeah, or if we want to wait till if we have time and first thing in the morning. So, yeah, set up camp. Cool. Cause it's already about three o'clock. A little after three. Yeah. At least the weather's nice. It is beautiful. <laughs> Suns are going down, so we set up camp. Time to eat dinner. Our first morning. Let me show you Ash here. Our first morning. We, we learned a few things last night. So our tent doesn't look that sloped. It is. <laughs> when you're waking up multiple times in the middle of the night, because your pad is like halfway down the tent, just crushing your packs at the bottom. That's interesting. So hopefully tonight we find a little bit leveler spot we will but it's beautiful morning we found a camp that was already here before i'll show you you know people making fires and stuff we didn't make a fire or anything but it already existed here so we figured it was probably an all right spot but you know, when there's people who have camped here before, you know, there's probably some poop holes and there's trash obviously left around. Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be obvious, but there's definitely quite a bit of trash. Yeah. Also, other lessons learned. We use this like 90 second rice packets that we use at home all the time. <laughs> nah. Won't be using those again. I thought it would be fine mixed with our beans, but I'll tell you what. The beans were on point. Santa Fe instant refried beans. This, yes. Amazing. So good. Santa Fe instant refried beans. I got to order them online. I couldn't find them anywhere in the grocery store. You got them on Amazon, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be taking those again. One bag makes multiple meals. So, separate it out, but good stuff 
good stuff. We quickly learned when we sat down for dinner that we packed entirely too much food. Yeah. Lessons learned. And that we should have brought those two extra baggies for cooking food. Yeah. But. That was really just to separate it though because we Because we hadn't separated it. So. Yeah, because, yeah. We're learning. That's the whole point of this trip. Yeah. Use our equipment. Take down our new gear. You know, so we're not stuck for five months trying to figure stuff out. Yeah. I'm going to make us a Gatorade with what's left in there. Okay. You want to share that? Yeah. And then we'll share the other bottle of water? Yeah. Okay. Docs said that this would be bouldering. We thought it was a lie, because uh, because we were told there was no water for the first nine miles. And the hike to camp last night, we passed at least six streams that we could have filled up at. I think what they meant was there was none after the campsites, but that wasn't clear. Yeah. So there was plenty of water, and then it said that. It was a steep portion that was going to be all bouldering. Let me just turn this around and show you what the trail looks like. Yeah, it's it's kind of bouldering. It's some bouldering. And I'm pretty sure we've gone off trail a couple of times here. Nothing drastic though. You can see the markers, it's just not clear always how to get to them. It's a nice view. We're almost to the ridge for sure. But very glad we didn't try and make this trek last night before we set up camp. We probably would have been finishing in the dark and trying to set up our tent in the dark for the first time. Yeah, for sure. Um, how far have we gone? 0.7, like three quarters of a three mile. Three quarters of a mile and how long? Uh, about 45 minutes. We're, we're moving slow this morning. Yeah, it's some bouldering and navigating. Yeah. We should be to the ridge soon, and then it should be nice. I have our first injury. I twisted my ankle, and then I don't know how well you can see it in the shade. It's getting the sun. Got a little bit of road rash going on. That's all right. Gotta keep on moving. Just getting some water. Well, we made it to the top and then we came down a little bit. Part of the trail was really difficult to uh, pick out. It was like trees had fallen down over it. We couldn't tell where we really were. The markers on this trail, I'll show you. If you can see it here, is these like blue lines on the tree. And uh, they're just spray painted on, so some of them have disappeared. But we found an area with some really cool camp spots. Um, kind of up here at the top. We're gonna... Yeah. I mean, up here. It's just kind of a boulders up the side of the mountain. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it around. There you go. So, here we are. Pretty much at the top, but yeah, we came in from that direction. 
you can see how rocky it is over there. Like, it was a lot of rocks today, but the views are always worth it. Odd of you. Good morning, day two. Well, morning two. After sleeping overnight, so really day three. I am not good at math. We found a really cool camp spot. I'm gonna flip it around here. So we found this really cool camp spot right here along the uh, this raging river. It was nice. We are very quickly learning that if your site is not perfectly level, I mean bubble between the lines level, that your mat will shift at night. And so you'll undoubtedly wake up around midnight to move the mat. We need tent chocks. Tent chocks. Don't That's anybody steal that, right? <laughs> That's Ashley's new invention. They're gonna be epically lightweight. Epic. I know I should have filmed a little. We did get here before sun went down last night and set up and everything, but we were just relaxing, so I didn't really get any footage set up of where what our tent, look, our camp looked like. But there is like a fire pit right there, evidence of previous campers, and we came off the trail right up there. But it does say this morning that we got to cross the river to get to the trail that we need to. There's like red ribbons up there. We believe so. So we're going to try it. See what happens. But we only have eight miles left. Doing pretty good. Uh, lessons learned when we got back in last night. We both stink. We're smelly. Yesterday was really rough. Um, it was hot. Really, really hot. And uh, the bouldering for a mile took us much longer than uh, we thought it would. So yesterday we only did, what, nine miles? Nine and a half. Yeah. Nine and a half. Yeah. And There's a lot of navigating too, and that, slow, that just slows you down so much. Yeah, yeah. She was saying that we uh, there was a lot of navigating we had to do. Because the trails aren't really marked out here. I mean, those pink ribbons I just showed you are probably the <laughs> most we've seen for this trail. Um, but... So, yeah, yesterday was a little rough. We got back and we put on our camp clothes and I took off all my clothes and put them in the river, let them soak. Hopefully they, they would dry this morning and I'm definitely walking around a little moist this morning. So, uh, <laughs> that's all right. We're going to bust out this last eight miles, get a coffee and enjoy the hotel room. Well back on the trail we started the skyway loop and uh, there were some scary situations where the trail was like taken out by fallen trees and stuff like that we were hopping and winding underneath of them and the trail was really thin too at those points so it got a little hairy and we decided to go back we went to the lakes because we heard cars there last night but we have no service, so we have no idea where that road goes to or anything like that. We do know we crossed a familiar road yesterday after we stopped and took a break at a shelter. So we know that's a road that would take us back to the car if we needed. So we're kind of heading back now towards the shelter. But I wanted to show you the falls because I didn't really get this part yesterday when we were hiking through here. And I was kind of bummed. But we're back, so why not? Let's see. I'm still learning how to use my camera.
There we go. Look how pretty that is. Back to it. <laughs> 